is as good a run defender that you're going to find. Cam Jordan's one of those guys who can rush the passer, and he plays the run exceptionally well, and he's going against a rookie. On third and five, they'll fake the give. A great play. But nowhere to go. Guess who? Coming in, the man you just talked about, Cam Jordan, the seven-time pro bowler, getting in there for the tackle. Yeah, and the way he played it is perfect. He came, and nobody blocked him. But once you're unblocked, you know you have to look back down inside. You can see him right here. Close it down. Hit him with your inside shoulder and make it bounce. And that's what he tried to do, but he was there as well. This is just... You can look this up in the, in the dictionary, and they're going to show you that that's exactly how you play it. Oh, really? Oh, Camp Jordan. Yeah, he was, wants to be the complete defensive end. He told us that. I'm here to stop the run. Well, he stopped the run. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. I mean, just dropped him like a bad habit. Holy Toledo, watch this. What the hell? pitch. Patterson bottled up. Cam Jordan came up to make the play. White. Oh, he gets swallowed up in the backfield. Cameron Jordan came right through. It's a fake. Here they come up the middle, he dumps it off. He got it to the tight end, Moreau, but they're going to lose a couple on the play. And a couple were in there on the stop, including the terrific Cameron Jordan. They throw him for a loss of two. It's back to the 23. Here's Cordero Patterson. And Atlanta's excellent run game get going. Cameron Jordan comes up with a tackle for loss. Cam Jordan is a guy that is just haunted. I mean, the Atlanta Falcons, 23 games he's played. He's got 23 sacks full time. To the outside, but nothing happening there. Goes Keontae Ingram. Cam Jordan trying to burnish what will be a Hall of Fame resume in his 12th season. Great job, the one arm, keep that outside shoulder and hand free, and then collapse down on it. You know, he's known as a great pass rusher, but over his career, great against the run. Yep. Third is short. This is Hunt going backwards. And that time the run defense up to the task. What a push for New Orleans. Right up the gut. Cameron Jordan and Shy Tuttle. That's a huge stop. I mean, just watch this inside. Get penetration and create a wall where Hunt has nowhere to go. You get the pressure inside. You get edge pressure outside, not allowing him to get outside. And that's a big stop. This is Chuba Hubbard, and Cam Jordan got him low. It'll be third and long. Malcolm Rhodes got him high. He's unblocked, and that's the quarterback's read. And so he's just going to come down and do exactly what he's supposed to do, not commit inside until he sees the ball. Well done by Cam Jordan. Still doing it in year 12. The all-time sack leader in Saints history. With so many great defenders have come through here. Debo Samuel in the backfield, tracked down by Cam Jordan. How happy are they to have Cam Jordan back after he missed last week with an orbital bone fracture? See him rocking that visor for a reason, protecting that orbital bone, but he sure played the edge so well, and he says it every time we talk to him. You've got to earn the right to rush the passer on third down, and he sure did right there. It's a first and goal carry, and that's going nowhere. Cam Jordan loves the sack total, but he'll take a tackle for loss. PFL every time. He took an inside move, hard inside move, and he beat the tackle to the inside and sets up this second and goal. He had to hop over Moten. Yeah, his body was kind of <laughs> sweeping in there, and he made the tackle anyway. Cook working to the right side. Upended at the 10 yard line. Cam Jordan, Shy Tuttle, knock him down at a third and short coming up at a timeout call. It's Patterson. Low snap. Oh, he gave it to him, but the snap was low. Caleb Huntley 
Quickly, Demario Davis knocks him down as Cam Jordan got a hand on him. Three jump taking on tacklers inside the Saints 45, gets close to the 44 yard line. Cameron Jordan was there making first contact for the Saints to set up a third and five. Last year in motion. And the Panthers will keep it on the ground with LaVisca Chenault, who had his lone touchdown of the year in the first meeting. This Saints defense and Cam Jordan, as we talked about in the open, has just been outstanding. Yeah, Cam's in his 12th year, but he's playing like he's in his fifth year. Still comes off the ball hard. Just one of those guys, and he what he does is allow these guys right here, Werner Davis and Ellis, to be able to make a lot of plays. Second down and four. This one is batted into the air and incomplete Cam Jordan again. It's really good that you're rushing the passer, but yet you're aware of, as you're rushing the passer what's happening in the backfield as well. There's a lot of guys that just aren't as aware, and they're just kind of doing their thing, rushing the quarterback and not really paying attention to whatever's happening. Not Cam Jordan. That's why he's such a great player. He wins the one-on-one -on -one battles, and then he's there and instinctive enough to make those kinds of plays. Pocket. Look out, Jordan. Got it away in time. Morrow saves the sack and got back to the 25, but lost a couple. Three, in fact, on the play. Redwell and heavy duress put on quarterback Derek Carr. Second and nine. Minshew has Smith. Stopped by Adebo. Third and four. Fake to Harris. Pick it under pressure, incomplete. He was trying to get Zach Gentry, the big six foot eight tight end. And that's Cameron Jordan playing the defense on that, the tight end. Cameron Jordan playing like, I mean, he's like a DB right here. Look at him, stand up. Now watch him undercut this. Undercut the route, get your hand inside. How about I mean, that? Come on. That is a 12 year, seven time pro bowler. One of the best players in the NFL in the 2010s on that all-decade team. You know he's going to be lobbying, don't you? He's going to be <laughs> lobbying. He's going, hey, but I, put me in at safety. Yeah, there you go. At, at the, at the uh, nickelback corner. Baker just gets rid of it. The pass rush coming in, Cam Jordan among them. And, of course, if they've watched any tape, they're getting their hands up. Cousins looking, pressure comes, hit as he throws, incomplete. That backside pressure from Cam Jordan, and now third down. Cousins under pressure, backpedaling, and he threw this one away. Oh, he looked up, and Cam Jordan was right there. Now, here's the other thing. No receiver was anywhere near where that oh. ball ended up. Is this going to be intentional grounding? It might be. They're talking about it right now, but Cam Jordan was sifting through some blocks. And there's the flag. Third down, it's Patterson, and he will not get there. Brady underneath was under pressure. Rashad White, long way to go, balls out. Kicked forward by the Saints and recovered. It'll be another takeaway for this Saints defense. Carl Granderson downfield gets on top of the fumble, forced by Cam Jordan. Third and three. 
Saints rush four. They get to Cousins. Oh. Down he goes. Marcus Davenport finishes him off. Cam Jordan was there first. Oh, watch him with this swim move on the outside. Here comes big Cam Jordan. Watch how quick and violent this is. Bam, knocks his hands down. Whew, just round second base there to get to the quarterback right around the dish. They didn't help the rook. No tight end there. He just put him one on one, and Cam win that one. Pressure coming for Baker. Just a huge play right here. Smith escapes the pocket. Has nowhere to go. He's being pressured. And Cam Jordan takes him down to the ground. His second sack of the game. In Cam we trust. He's come through for year after year after year. The seven-time Pro Bowler does what he does best. You're going to watch him on the top side. He comes, he's had to beat the back, which is Walker. He just gets rid of him like, get out of my way. And he just, good pursuit, 12-year player, still playing at top level. Jordan, two sacks today, already three and a half on the season. He's had seven or more in ten straight years in the National Football League. Third and 14. Murray protected well, but everybody's covered, and he goes down. Big sack back at the 11-yard line. Granderson and Jordan are both there. It's fourth down, fourth and 23. Second down, 18 for Carr. Jacobs with a block, a chip, Carm is being pressured there by Roach, and then doused and sacked on the play, coming through Cameron Jordan. Back-to-back -back sacks, Jordan with his fifth of the year. After Onyemata just recorded one the play before, a loss of five, and they're back to the 31. I do add three seconds to the clock. Not that it matters at this point, and Pickett's just going to duck down. Cameron Jordan will get credit for that. It's Minshew. Puts his foot in the ground and goes down. Cameron Jordan, longtime team captain, gets Minshew. And it's fourth down. Cam Jordan does a great job. Watch this. I mean, he's going to take away the run, right? I'm going to take away the give right there. Can't do that. All right, now I'm going to come get you, Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew steps up and gets sacked. No time to throw as Cameron Jordan gets the sack. The fake, the pressure, the fumble, the sack. Cameron Jordan finishes it all off. That is six sacks for the Saints today. And again, you're able to get pressure with just your down four. You're not bringing anybody extra. You got an off-the-ball guy coming in, Caden Ellis, but it's just the four total. Cameron Jordan with his third. I want to finish my career here. I want my storyline to be here. I would love that my story has been drafted here, kept here, been here, never played a season without guaranteed money here. <laughs> um, uh, which that's probably in a, in a category of its own right there but the story is to let it unfold finish and be here so maybe year 15 if there is a year 16 death we'll talk about it then but there probably won't be i can't wait to give everything that i've been giving to the saints to the to the city to the community to my family uh to continue doing so for the foreseeable future which is currently you know three years <laughs>